Hey guys, 412 Sports Cards here today, back with another video, and today's topic is going to be a little different. As you can see in the back, we're going to be talking about soccer cards today. So, I recently sold off a LeBron Upper Deck Star Rookie um, VGS 95, and with those profits, I wanted to put the money into something a little bit more risky. And I'd slowly been hearing more and more people talking about soccer cards on Instagram and stuff where I am, and I decided to kind of jump in. So, Knowing very little about soccer, I decided to stick to the larger names. So, I mean, I'll start, I'll move my stack of other cards in here. You can see the larger names. We're talking about Messi, Ronaldo, Mbappe, and also focused on the big sets. So, we're talking about cards like this First Prism, First Optic, and this is a First Topps Chrome set. Um, my thinking, I kind of used my knowledge of basketball to help inform these buying decisions. Um, recently, I mean, I don't remember when exactly, but we all know, we saw the boom in first uh, prism, first optic in NBA. And I thought, not knowing a ton about rookies and young players, um, that that would be a good place to start in entering the soccer investing world. So that's what I did. Um, and in Adding to those kind of insights that I had about like optic hollows, you know, being big and like these first sets was the fact that um, some of you may have heard of the social media sports card influencer Slab Stocks, who has been has tens of thousands of followers and has been talking about launching a soccer card platform to uh, put out content about them. Now, I saw that as a potential catalyst for market growth. Uh, knowing he's had the power to um, influence markets. I'm not saying anything bad about him necessarily, but his content definitely does influence market behavior. And I kind of wanted to get ahead of that curve and get in before he kind of helped this market blow up even more. So I actually went back and these cards here are all kind of cards that he was buying himself. So I figured they're price stuff that he's going to want to be promoting in his videos. So that's just kind of some background. But yeah, let's get into it. Cards that I bought. Start off with these. Um, I have two Ronaldos and one's off for grading. And I have three Messies, two still in the mail. Um, these are from 2014 Prism World Cup. And this is the first Prism set. So honestly, they look really nice. Um, I've only been buying Messi and Ronaldo, not Neymar or anyone else, because I think that when the market starts to boom, it's the big names that go first and the big names that go the most. So I wanted to have them. Um, I mean, I was buying these pups, I was paying like 80 for the Messi's and like 70 or 60 for the Ronaldo's like two, three weeks ago. Anyways, I mean, we're already starting it. I mean, it's already getting hot. Like the mess, the Ronaldo's are a like double, they're like 130. And these uh, Messies are up around like 150. So one of them's in the mail, one of my Messies. Another one's still waiting to be shipped. We're really hoping it comes because I got it for like 80 a week ago. So it was a steal. But these have really started to explode. But I do think that they're going to be the big cards in the hobby. They just look the best. And it's, an icon it's a good first set with a lot of top players. Now, um, I think if you're a little bit more on like a bargain hunt type thing, you can be buying these Optic Hollows from First Year Optic. Um, this is a messy. Personally, I think this card, um, the Prism, looks nicer, but these are cheap. I mean, you can get a Hollow for, this was like 60 bucks. This is like 110, 120 bucks. This is an Aqua out of 149, which seemed cheap to me um, compared to a non-numbered Hollow. But yeah, these are all kind of low. Oh, also, um, I kind of forgot to emphasize, these are really low print run. That's one of the big, big perks of this Prism set. All in the PSA graded cards are selling for stupid money right now. Like PSA 9s are like 400 bucks. And I think you can 9 these easily. I've gotten many in, all in pretty good condition. I think it's just because it's a low pop, not a ton graded. People are haven't been grading them because they're worth so, so little not that long ago. So I think they're excellent buys at the current time because you have grading potential too. But back to these. Um, and Ronaldo's in the set too. Now, both Ronaldo and Messi have club jerseys and national jerseys. And I'm at the present time, I'm not sure which one 
is going to be the parallel is going to be the version to get. Um, I'm a little confused. I feel like over time a trend's going to emerge. When I was thinking about it, I thought Messi, you know, iconic Barcelona player, um, European driven market. I'll go with him in the Barcelona jersey. No, but if I were buying Ronaldo, I might buy him in his national jersey because he's on Juventus um, this year and, you know, he's changed teams. So I felt like that might influence um, the value of him in the club jersey. It might be a little lower. But that's something that I think if you can really guess right, I feel like is another way to add a lot of money um, to your profits. Finally, I got these two um, Kylian Mbappes. These are rookies, actually, from 2018 Topps Chrome. These are like 100 bucks each. Um, they were previously like $5, like, I don't know, sometime in the past, maybe a year ago. I don't know. I just hear all the stories about how they've gone like wild. Um, this was one of the first cards to boom in the industry. It's probably the foremost young player in all of soccer. Um, if I'm... I think he, he plays on PSG, so he plays on a big club, but yeah, I'm not as confident in these simply because I'm not a soccer head, so I don't know actually, you know, what makes Kylian Mbappe good. When I was buying, you know, these, I just know that Messi is Messi and Ronaldo is Ronaldo, so I felt safe with those. But these Mbappes, even though I, I don't really feel safe straggling further into young players than this, but yeah, so those are kind of the cards that I've been picking up. I feel like the market's bound to explode like the NBA card market did a couple years ago where everything just starts to gain traction. Update for you guys, at the moment, these two are going wild and these optics and these Mbappes are sitting pretty stagnant. So do with that information what you will. Um, and I hope this video was informative and something different for you guys. Catch you next time.